ericmwallethmother.com. Let's take a look at the chart for Apple and we are going to consider two things. Number one is the RSI level of 69.1 on the monthly and number two the idea of a failed breakout. So let's go to the chart and here we have three years of monthly data. So let's take a look at the first aspect which is when the monthly chart is trading above 69.1 on its RSI expect that there's gonna be likelihood of an extension in prices to new highs and here we can see it entered 69.1 here at about the 90 price range stayed above that 69.1 threshold until here which was mid 2015 and at a price of let's call it about 120 so right now it captured the 69.1 level during this month here and that was in February and the stock continues to trade higher so we can see from this that as long as it is trading above 69.1 on the monthly there is a tendency for it to be stable to outright bullish and so don't expect it to be dropping until it moves back below 69.1 just like it did here in the middle of 2015 before this drop so that's the 69.1 threshold here explained in the current three-year monthly chart and we can take a look at the other aspect which is a failed breakout for example right now we see that the stock is breaking out after one month of rest and it cleared the previous monthly closing high of 143.66 now if you go back to the previous breakout here that failed it is only after it tried to close and stay above that previous monthly closing high going back to this level here we failed to break out here failed here successfully broke out on that month subsequently fell below that price and then another failed breakout after that multiple breakout attempts we eventually get the pullback so right now we can say that as long as the stock is trading above 143.66 expect the momentum to be suggesting stability or even higher prices now if we take a look at all data going back to 1990 on a monthly chart we can see periods when the stock was trading nicely above 69.1 here for example in 99 to early 2000 let's zoom into that time period and so here we have zoomed in you can see 99 to 2000 middle of 2000 and we see again that the stock had moved above 69.1 here at a price of course split adjusted of about dollar 50 it stayed above 69.1 on the monthly until it fell back below it here after trading as high as 475 if you take a look back at the long term monthly chart there's this period here where it generally stayed most of this couple of years here it stayed above 69.1 so let's zoom into that time period that's all four to about late 07 and here we've zoomed in again from 04 to 2007 late 2007 and we can see that it stayed above 69.1 from this price range here until it dropped back below it here for a pullback recaptured it here for this re-entry stayed above 69.1 Oh, fell back below 69.1 here recaptured it here in 07 stayed above 69.1 on the monthly RSI until late 07 which is here also we can see that in late 07 there was another failed breakout so we see the second aspect which is this failed breakout on a monthly basis and that also corresponds with the high here after failing to break out it doesn't go back to these price levels and then again on the long term monthly chart we can see it stayed above 69.1 from let's call it 2010 to the highs here of about 2012 so let's zoom in and we can see here on a zoomed in chart that from 2010 to about 2013 RSI generally stayed above 
moving the stock from a split adjusted price of let's call it about just about 28 to the highs here of about $90. Why? Because the monthly RSI remained above 69.1. And again, we can see coming off the highs of 2012, it's only this failed breakout that finally gave investors the idea that the stock was running out of momentum. It broke out here, but subsequently after a couple of months rolled over, failed back below the breakout level and continued to trade lower. So coming back to the current three-year monthly chart, we can see that on the monthly, it is above 69.1. On the weekly, it is trading also above 69.1 going back to February. So as long as the weekly RSI is trading above 69.1, expect the, stay, the stock to be sideways to outright bullish. Same thing on the daily. The daily is trading above 69.1. It also did the same thing holding above 69.1 here. For this entry, it stayed above 69.1 until somewhere here, which is this level here. So right now we are back above 69.1. As long as the daily is above 69.1, expect the stock to have strength. And also we can see that on the hourly, as of right now, we are still showing that the RSI is trading above 69.1. So as long as it is trading above 69.1 on the major time frames of the monthly, weekly, daily, and even the hourly, expect the stock to be sideways to outright bullish it is only if and when we break back below the monthly breakout level of 143 so until we break down below the 143 this previous monthly closing high until we break down below this price the stock should have the possibility of higher prices should we crack back below that price at some point? That's probably going to be a sell signal for this stock and also potentially for the general market. Eric Moab with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. Um, dum, dang, da. Uh, dum, dang, da.